Hi, my name is Levent. Uh, today I have received AGI Genesis Style Atomizer and I own this RSST, SmokeTech RSST uh, Genesis Style Atomizer for a week or so. So I just want to make a comparison between those two. As a matter of fact, this AGI is two in one function, has two in one function. Uh, it's a Genesis Atomizer as well as a dripper so you can use it in both modes uh, but before uh, showing inside of this atomizer let me go briefly uh, on RSS SmokeTech RSST which is AC9 clone so well I mean uh, it is both are stainless steel build and RSST comes with the drip tip stainless steel and uh, I think diameter is 22 millimeters uh, the air hole was not small, so I opened it up by using one sixteenth of an inch uh, drill bit, uh, and now it has much better uh, air draw. And this atomizer has only one O-ring that holds it, and there is no screwing on and off, so you can easily position it in front of the, your your wig setup coil setup and then you know you enjoy it and in my case it is it is pretty tight though I mean it's like it doesn't come off really I mean even when I put put it, put it on the top on, on top of a mod but this drip tip is somewhat loose but anyway it doesn't bother me anyways anymore RSST has uh, uh, one weak hole and this is the negative pole and there is a plastic cap this is a fill hole and also positive pole and positive pole has a spring load connection type which is pretty useful uh, when you build a new coil and you just you know snap it in between the the, the spring and the washer and the screw and then you're done and some people think that uh, actually I read some or watch some reviews they prefer metal cap instead of plastic but I mean I found it useful I mean you had you generate some heat here but it really doesn't affect this plastic cap and I found it very useful I mean without any tool you can just oh, open it up and fill it with the uh, with your needle type of bottle or any, uh, something and then you just pop it back on it's very useful uh, there is no recess or anything and the cup is has an uh, interesting shape so inside of the uh, inside also the cup comes and covers the electrical pole here so it is really less prone to leakage people say and it's it's pretty logical and the other uh, feature of this atomizer is uh, the 510 connection is ad adjustable you can adjust the 510 connection by adjusting this screw so and what I notice is is, is the the big hole here is is, is is pretty big so which allows you to build pretty large uh, big setup let me show you close And right now I have 500 uh, stainless steel mesh and uh, it's a composite, I call it composite wick system and in the middle I have 3 millimeter silica wick and I did not have any wicking issue whatsoever with this setup and I use, in this case, in this setup I use 28 gauge cantal wire and you will see several wraps but it gives 1.3 ohms uh, and as you notice they are kind of separate my intention was to distribute the heat in a large volume so that I will get more vape but of course it kind of requires a little bit heat up when I click it uh, in the first second you don't really necessarily get vape but and then once it heats up you, you get plenty of vape so let's take a look at the AGI atomizer 
let me compare the dimensions first uh, dimension wise AGI is longer than RSST smoke tech RSST but it looks to me slightly narrower doesn't have any adjustable uh, I'm sorry it doesn't have any adjustable 510 connection in the middle and it has a classic glass or I think it's not glass cross glass but something uh, plastic let's open that and it does not come with a drip tip so when you purchase it you receive it like this and the air hole is, is, is small looks small but uh, I was pretty comfortable with the air draw instead of uh, two one o-rings in RSST it has two o-rings but this is slightly smaller uh, o-ring setup compared to RSST as far as I see uh, but you know there is no issue and then again it holds uh, the setup nicely it's tight it's tight. it's a tight fit so let's look at let's look what we have first of all it has a recess cup uh, very similar to uh, AGI dripper which I own one and I, I love it uh, because in the dripper mode you can fill this recessed area with juice so that that juice can wick the silica or whatever wick material you use so you drip less frequently and you enjoy vape more frequently and this setup has several holes let me show them one by one this is the positive pole there is no spring load configuration but it's not really it's, it's really not very difficult to tighten the wire there and this is a big hole the one we call and there is another hole here that I think not. I think you can use uh, this one also for another coil setup. So you can run this system as dual coil, or if you can, I'm not quite sure. But if you can, you can build a U wick if you want to. And this is also a negative pole. So when you use this in dripper mode, you just use your positive pole and this negative pole, and you get your setup between those two. Uh, but uh, and also it comes with the screw so when you're using the dripper mode you have to remove this and there's an allen screw that you screw this hole and also it's already closed so you, and then you enjoy it as a dripper mode in the dripper mode but when you use uh, in genesis mode this hole becomes your wick hole and what I noticed compared to RSST this hole is smaller than uh, what you have in RSST or smoke tech RSST so it really I mean it's it's something big for me because I kinda tend to like to have a bigger wick hole and build a bigger wick so that I don't have any wicking issues uh, in this case I use a much smaller seal, uh, stainless steel mesh and instead of 28 gauge I go with 30 gauge wire and again I have 1.3 ohm resistance there um, I'm sorry in this one uh, if you want probably you can make this hole bigger but there's a problem I mean it's not only you don't only need to open the hole bigger but also you need to open the threads as well so it's it's kind of a lot of work so I don't know I mean when I 
this is something I prefer. I prefer bigger uh, wick hole, and uh, so that I don't have any wicking issues. Uh, but in this case, it was cons actually not slight, considerably smaller. So I don't know what you guys think, but uh, I don't think I will use this one as a dripper in the dripper mode because I already ha all have one. So I may open this hole a little bit more. I think there is room to make that hole bigger, and then I just enjoy it. In in case of filler hole, as you see, it's an Allen screw. So you need to carry an Allen driver to open it up and put it back. But in this, in case of RSST, this plastic cap really makes life really easy. You just open and fill it, and then you are good to go. So let me know what you think. Uh, put it on the comment section, and see you soon. Bye bye.